That was a wildly unimpressive hockey game. Intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Glove Drop. The New York Rangers lose the Columbus Blue Jackets 5-3 last night. And while the headlines read, Adam Fox injured leaves game five minutes into third, they got it wrong. The entire New York Rangers leave game five minutes into the first, none return. They took the momentum, they put it on a silver platter, and they were like, here, do you want me to chew it up for you too, Columbus? Because we can do that also. If the Rangers expect to get anywhere through the playoffs playing like that, then they're on serious drugs. Anyway... Let's talk about it, shouldn't we? We should, right? Okay, so the New York Rangers go in to play the Columbus Blue Jackets last night. The Blue Jackets, not that good. The New York Rangers are coming off of a huge win. The Columbus Blue Jackets are coming off of an embarrassing loss. Maybe it'll be a slow start because we've been seeing that over and over again with the New York Rangers coming into these games. Maybe they'll just be a little bit too overconfident, but boom, whoa, hold up, wait a second. Artemi Panarin, first shot of the game, a minute and 30 seconds into the game, the first shot taken goes in. I'm like, holy shit. And then Barclay Goudreau. Tip in? A tip in goal? And it wasn't by Chris Kreider? And both of these goals were not on the power play? These were five on five goals? Oh my gosh. And then five minutes into the first, everything stopped. I don't know if it was a matter of, oh my gosh, we got two and everybody freaked out and then all bets were off. But whatever it was, fix it. Whatever happened last night, knock it off and fix it because that can't be what it is the rangers spent the remaining 55 minutes of that game essentially chasing the game not even chasing the game because they weren't even running that fast so let's talk about how it gets so much worse from there mm -hmm. so five minutes in rangers are up 2-0 then they put the momentum down leave the arena and get back on the plane and literally leave and the columbus blue jackets pick it right up nyquist scores one and then Boone Jenner gets his first of the night. Boone Jenner gets his power play goal. What's the power play for? It was for a tripping penalty on Barkley Goudreau. Props to Goudreau for in the post game taking responsibility for that, calling it a dumb penalty because it was a stupid play. You're an idiot. So I'm proud of you for knowing. Just don't let it happen again. So the New York Rangers go into the first intermission, tied 2-2. I'm like, okay, it's fine. Everybody, it's okay. They're the Rangers and this is Columbus and psych. It wasn't fine. The second period was atrocious. And the Rangers were trash. How did Columbus get two more goals past Kyorgi after during the second period, you ask? Well, let's talk about that. The first goal by Nyquist. Well, we have a board battle. Three New York Rangers are up on the boards battling one, just one, Nyquist. He manages to not only shake off three guys to center a pass, he also manages to get around them and through them and perfectly positions himself to get a beautiful pass off Max Domi for a give and go goal. Nice. So board battles being lost. Sweet. The second goal, the product of a turnover. Now, when I say a turnover, I mean like a few of them, a few in succession. Adam Fox turns the puck over. Columbus shoots, Georgiev blocks it. Uh, Adam Fox then gets it again, sends it over to Strom. Strom is stripped. Another turnover. And this time they score. All right, so it's 4-2 and we're going into the third period. Now, five minutes into the third period or so, Adam Fox is up against the boards. It's not like a, a big deal type of play. Nobody's getting boarded. Nobody's getting smashed. But he comes out of this little press up against the boards and skates off. And he doesn't return. So I'm having 14 anxiety attacks at the time. And come to find out, it's an upper body injury and it's a day-to-day -day thing. Now, this entire game, Adam Fox was a little bit off with the turnovers and you know losing board battles and kind of just being sloppy all around. So I'm wondering, was something bothering him before this game? Is, is that something that was already occurring and then it just became too much because he was not playing at a Fox level hockey. That's just my opinion. I don't know if that's true, but that's kind of what it looks like now that I go back and think about it. New York Rangers do get on a power play and fortunately the special teams realized that they didn't have to leave. They stayed for a second. Mika Zibanejad gets a goal on the power play and Boone Jenner gets an empty netter. Time's run out. The New York Rangers lose five to three. You can't expect them to play at their best every single day. I get it. You can't go all day. There was only a few, as Gerard Gallant even said in the post game, that he felt played really well. Um, the defense was not any of them. I'll tell you that for free. Happy to see Zibanejad scoring. Yorgiev, like this poor bastard, he is 
<laughs> they, they put him, they left him in the trenches taking grenades. That's how I'm going to put that one. So the New York Rangers come out of that. No points. And here we are today, today, Friday. Oh God, I've been like dreading this day. Tonight, the New York Rangers take on the Minnesota Wild. Prior to that game is the retiring of Henrik Lundqvist's number. I'm not going. Am I sure that that's the best idea in the world? Yeah, because if I went, I would be incapacitated. I'd be very upset. Even more so the fact that Matt Zuccarello was going to be there. And we all know that the tears are going to be flowing. Henrik Lundqvist, let's all last night's BS aside. He's the king. He is one of the greatest. What an asset to the team. What an asset to the city. I absolutely cannot put into words how incredible he was and still is for the entire Rangers nation, the city, and everybody who has basically anything to do with hockey. He's got a lot of respect, as he should. So tonight, before the New York Rangers take on Minnesota Wild, Kirill Kaprizov, which, you know, I really hope they show up for, we are going to have to watch number 30 go up in the rafters forever. So hopefully tomorrow, once I stop crying, I'll have something to look forward to, like a win over the wild, a little bounce back win. Adam Fox is day by day on that upper body injury. I don't know if he's going to be in the lineup or not tonight, but I do expect to see Shesty starting. Thank God. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, put down in the comments what you think, what your opinions on that display from last night were and let me know if there's anything else you want to see in these videos also check me out on instagram twitter and tiktok there's a lot of silly stuff that happens on tiktok i will tell you that right now so definitely go and check that out i will see you guys all tomorrow where we talk about all things henrik lundquist and the outcome of tonight's big matchup against the wild I'll see you all in the next one and until then fingers crossed adam fox is better please god please